Yo, what's up, Grab? It's 5D here. When I play Raid Shadow Legends on the Noob to Pro, my main account and three referral accounts, my screen usually looks as crazy as this. You can decide to play one account if you don't have to do all this craziness like I'd like to do sometimes. But I got a question from the comment section on the last video asking, how is, do I even make this possible? Because normally when you have the player on play, you have to log out from one account to switch to another account. So, Michael, um, Budek, Budeka asked, I wish you would do a tutorial on how to start multiple accounts and how to switch back and forth. He says he's got a PC, he got a phone. So I'm going to answer this question on this um, video to tell you guys how I do it if you don't know yet. Um, basically, RSL Hopper is how I do it. <laughs> if you're playing on PC, how come you don't use RSL Hopper? Well, not everybody likes to use the software. So I'm going to break it down because even if you have the helper, some people don't even still know how to get it done to have multiple red accounts playing at the same time on their PC. So let me close all this craziness, or two of them at least, and show you what makes this possible. If you go to the RSL Hopper, this is a third party application a lot of raid players used to make their raid grind a lot easier because back in the day when we didn't have all those multi battles and all that, this was the tool that could help us click that retry battles replay battles right now the battle has ended it's just waiting for me to take action of course you can use multi battles but this tool was the one that helps us retry the battle auto sell the trash gear that we farm and all that so this tool is really, really great i do have dedicated video on this rs helper software and basically how you get it the best way to get it is make sure you join their discord channel because they keep the links updated and they keep the information fresh if you have any questions they have a help section here for the english version where you can go to the helper english to even ask questions so that's the um such fab stuff on your discord or if you want i can put the link to their um, discord if you search it on google i think you'll find this installer.rsl-helper.de slash index.html as a link to download the helper and all that but you need i think you need to be in their discord to even make it easier on yourself all right so that's the first information on how to get a helper the next step since you have the helper you already won't run one um raid account basically you have your raid application closed after this battle i'll close it stop multi-battle if you have a raid, raid application closed playroom play is the one that we use on pc right you have one account on playroom you can switch and add another account you can log in a second account after the second account you can add another account so playroom play can have multiple accounts right you can see okay behind me if i move it up a bit there you go so i have my main account my brick and loop to pro my referral account and referral account so you can have multiple accounts in your play and play already logged in so i'm not talking about how to start new raid account if i close this one right now so now i have only one account this is how most players play their game not nothing wrong with that you have the helper you have the one account playing you can use it to auto sell and all that but now if you see a little plus at the top you can click that plus icon and that closes your current play on play closer now if you do not want to get the helper for some reason you don't want to use a third party tool to achieve this you can also go to your tax manager you see the active play on play right now i have this play on play right now i could kill this process and open it again using tax manager that's for somebody who does not want to use the third party software called rs helper so if you go to your tax manager you can see your raid process and you can see your play on play process now sometimes if by killing the play on play process your raid also closes but you can't do it from here don't do it from here <laughs> it will exit that sometimes even if i kill it from here it closes the raid so let me see if i kill it now see if it closes the end task so I just kill the play and play process, but my raid account is still open. So RSL Hopper is just helping you kill that play and play process so you can relaunch it again. So if I launch play and play process again, it will allow me to switch an account. So that's what RSL help you do. do. So now I can switch to the Noob to Pro account and click play. Play right there. So basically you can do it that way without using this third party tool call RSL Hopper, you could easily open one raid account, go to your tax manager right there, find the play run play process, kill it or end task, as it says end task, right? And then relaunch it again, switch to another account, end task, relaunch it again. That's the easiest way to do it. You don't even need the helper for sure. I just like to use the helper because it allows me to do anything. So that's the best way to do it. As for how you minimize if you're Windows 10 or 11, I think you can easily switch between apps. 
and ad- arrange the windows according to how you want it to view up or if, if you have a second monitor it's much easier to just slide one over to the other side and one, let the other one play on the other side so basically that's the entire process i think if that makes it any clearer the um, tax manager in your system can kill play on play end process and allow you to launch a new play on play to switch account so if by the way if you are lo- wondering how you can even start set up a second account you want to have one account and then play a second one at the same time um, on that same PC, if you want to have a referral ac- code working or one of those, their promo code that you grab from the YouTube videos to work for you, your player on play have to be logged out. That's one thing that most people don't know. You can't just copy those link. Why player on play is currently logged into your current account, you can go paste it into Chrome. It's not going to work. So if I get a referral account, I go paste it into Chrome right now, it downloads re- player on play again or whatever. As long as this account is currently logged in, that pre- referral code is not going to work or that um, special promo code that gives you three four legendaries is not going to work you always have to be logged out that means in order for me to set, uh, set up a second raid account fresh from scratch the tutorial and everything i want that promo code to work i want that referral account to work i need to be closing my first raid account close my second raid account then log out of play on play I know it's a little bit of a hassle, yes, but you'd have to be logged out of Player on Play. That's when the referral code you paste into your Chrome will now grab that you've not played Raid before on your PC. So all you need to do is be logged out of this. So I'm not going to log out of that right now, but that's how you get it done. Or if I close this and see. Switching account does not work. Add account does not work. So if I just do this, add account and leave it here and go try it will still detect that i have an account so this is not what i'm talking about when i say logout it actually requires you to go to logout right here <laughs> and then it will keep you on the page where you're not having an account on the playroom account on the playroom play that's when it lets you use the code you really need to use that logout for the current account without switching to another account all the others can stay but you have to log out from the current accounts and let me just try it if i log out of this account this is the page where a link could work <laughs> you see right now it says login right this is the page where when you get a referral code if you don't know what i'm talking about for a referral code is this code that you can grab from here for your main account you can grab a referral account copy link you see this copy link that you can grab from here i've already done it for my main account and then go paste it on your chrome and that's how you get the referral code to work for you your playroom account must be logged out there are ways to do it on mobile logging out from that gmail account logging to another gmail account mobile is much more complicated i find pc much easier to set up multiple accounts than a mobile phone a mobile phone might be detecting that you already have an account played on the phone on the phone before that's why i don't like to do that on mobile so if i don't i don't know if that does that answer the question i, sh- I just showed two ways to get it done the first method i was referring you to which makes it a lot easier for you is by using this third-party software rsi helper to just log in the first account make sure when your play on play is closed you have to start rsi helper first rsi helper six this is what i start first i don't start the play on play first so this rsi helper will help you launch your raid and it will open your current raid account that you have logged in right so that's how you start you don't start the raid account open first then you go try to open the helper for it to not detect the raid issues might come up but that also works sometimes for some people so either you're using rsi helper or you're using this old other method i showed you by going to your tax manager and looking for the play run play process that you currently have open did i just close the last one yes by open rsi helper it closed the last one if i click the plus it's going to create a new play run play process has opened now so you can use this um process manager right here tax manager to end task and open a new player on play that's how you open multiple raid accounts two three and so on take note your pc should be able to handle this raid is not a game that requires so much resources it's not in um, resource intensive you might also play it in low graphics and 30 fps so you can have the best um when you're you're running multiple raid account two three four you don't want to run it on all the unlimited frames and ultra and all that stuff right you want to have the low graphics and the low frame rates and the um camera shakes turned off where is it disable camera shakes yeah disable all that so you don't have um lags right so <laughs> right now i see how i just reduced it the quality so everything will be moving much faster if you're running multiple accounts 
and of course if you don't have um, a high-end pc so red won't take a lot of resources but it's always recommended for you to check the resources your pc is handling heck sometimes when i'm streaming or recording and having two three accounts open at the same time you will see me going to my discord and clicking quit discord because i'm trying to re manage my resources my pc is telling me it's using only 65 percent of memory and cpu is about 28 27 percent so it's not like my cpu is overclocking or it's so you gotta check your processes to make sure you're not hitting a hundred and things are lagging so i can happen for i can open four red accounts maybe what six gigs gram 32 gig gram maybe a graphics card is also helping you so check your pc resources before you go opening four five ten red accounts which is not recommended by the way their maximum account according to that tos is five that one player should be able to play or own on his own so that's what they are i think their red tos says if you've read if you've at any time taken the look at how many red accounts is one player one person allowed to have in the in the game i think it's five right so what happens if you have multiple ones they might end up just discarding one or two of them <laughs> if you have too many red accounts so take note of that you're not allowed to create hundreds of red accounts they'll detect it and they'll wipe your account away don't do that this is for those players who want a main account that you play and enjoy an old one like this and then like me who started a new noob to press noob to pro series which i have to now log back into if i still remember the password login ah authenticator always make sure you have the two-factor turned on because so even if somebody tried to hack in you have um, a way of getting your account back with a two-factor authenticator always highly recommended if you don't have that activated there are chances that your um what do you call it now your red account might be hacked <laughs> anytime soon so two-factor is saving me right here even if you log in you have to always to put the second authenticator code which i'm getting from my gmail and i'll enter it now It's one use only, so don't worry. <laughs> you can't use it again another time. So now I'll go ahead and open the second account. I hope by now this answers your question. How I play um, tutorial, how to stack multiple red accounts and how to switch them back and forth between them. So I have the main one right here. Because normally when I record these videos, I put one of them on full screen mode. So I might be talking about the Noob to Pro and all that. And then in the middle of my sentence as I'm speaking to you, I switch over to the next account and maybe that's why that person was asking how come i switched to another account while i was already without logging out of this one i immediately switched that's why he was asking about that question oh it's in 30 fps oh unlimited doesn't look cool all right there we go um there will be no noob to pro update because as you can see before i was recording this video noob to pro was busy in the mino i'm using all my gems energy and everything farming the mino right now spending everything to make sure these champions i have so far get their uh, masteries to even if it's not max to a reasonable extent where they can begin to do brutal maybe nightmare progress and all that so that's where the main account is currently focusing its own time see gems 172 energy is already drained yesterday i did spend all the energy in there if you go to the menu you see all the champions in there i had to set a team preset for them to be able to take it down consistently instead of spending all their resources and skills on the first wave and then have nothing on the second wave and people begin to die so that's why they're in team presets i'm just adding a little bit of noob to pro progress right here because the video has ended i've said what i wanted to say but i don't have much to update for you guys in this noob to pro update that's what this noob to pro is helping us do it's taking us back to the beginning to learn things that we're supposed to learn in the early game and all that so having multiple red accounts is one thing that most players like to do one on your phone one on your pc is also another way of handling it that's how i used to play it so i can have two of them open at the same time but since rsl pi is here i always have um both of them at the same time open um let me see the champions i'm talking about masteries you can see this one is already have masteries this one is getting closer this one is getting so all of them are currently farming masteries no not kill um venomage is also in the list of champions getting masteries right now so that's one two three four and five all getting masteries slowly but surely and select that one so that's what i'm doing right now for today nothing else is being done on the new to pro besides masteries farming progress we must achieve it one way or the other right so slowly i'm unlocking more masteries until they will get to that level where i can unlock um, the 
Last milestone for the master is farming. What do I need in this Ugo? Ugo knockback turn meter for all these champions. I like that. For early game, useful. And yeah. Keep the master is farming going. I will turn on multi battles. I will use gems because I'm running out. Turn on gems to be used, used to restore energy. And boom. And put it to the side. Oh, I was supposed to max it out on full screen before I go it to the middle screen. Anyways. So that's the video for the day. Loop Pro update is teaching us how to um, run multiple raid accounts. The portal is now no more glowing. Everything is now calm. As for the fusion, this main account is going for the fusion. A little bit of fusion upgrade. Let's see. There is really nothing to do there. 125 fragments obtained so far from the events. I'm waiting for Ice Golem that is starting started yesterday to go along with Dungeon Divers, Gear Hunters. So without these Gear Hunters active, that Ice Golem, I'm not farming it right now. So that's why I'm just chilling. So maybe I'll go live on Twitch and chill with you guys and play some other games if I'm not spending energy and gems today in Raid or if everything is on Auto Farm. I'm not even going to claim this. Wait. Gear announcement is ending and I've not done it. I almost missed out on this. Gear enhancement. I thought I was leveling some gear yesterday. Champion training is definitely done. I'm glad I checked 17 hours and I've not done my gear enhancement. Damn, that would have been a disaster. So probably you should be at 150 of these fragments for Galapo right now. I did not summon my 100 fragments because I'm hoping the last day of the time we're supposed to fuse this champion will coincide with the champion chase so i can summon all four galapos that day and take them to um, five star and fuse that day at the same time so i'm hoping that's gonna be a weekend champion chase so that's why i did not summon for this champion chase because i already hit the maximum required number of points cvc is coming up tomorrow i might stream it i might not but it's gonna have personal rewards attached to it so get ready and save your resources for that anything you have to do that is crazy farming probably want to save that until tomorrow so you can get maximum reward they did give us a, a what do you call it now compensation gifts that's where all this is coming from that's compensation gift i think for all the damn times they have on all the resets we appreciate those compensation gifts yeah energy 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 all right thank you for that question if you have any other raid related questions leave them in the comments i'm always willing to take that advantage and post a video about it because sometimes we creators run out of content at least i run out of content and um, so um, i appreciate these questions whenever i see them and if i can make a video about them to answer you i will and hopefully this one helps out michael later guys don't forget to like and subscribe for more daily raid content